Guys, in this video, Robinhood actually has a new feature and I think this is very useful and very helpful for people who want to have different investment accounts. So Robinhood allows you to have up to 10 different brokerage accounts. And here's the thing, you don't need a new email before you wouldn't like need a new email and phone number and all of that. You can have multiple investment accounts um, under one, like I said, under your name. Um, I'll show you exactly how to do it. So like, for example, say if you wanted to invest in an account just for dividends, and then you want to have a separate investor account for trading. To me, I think that's probably the one that is most valuable. Suppose you want to have a trading account, investment account, maybe a dividend account. Anyway, what you will look at to the top screen, it says investing. You'll hit the down income. I mean, you'll hit the, uh, says investing at the top. You'll see a arrow, a down arrow. You will click that. Now, I've before I did this video, um, I kind of you know tested out the process so that when I do this video, it can everything can work smoothly. As you can see, the individual account they have the managed account, which you know with Robinhood, you can do up to ten. I did you know a trading account, test account, dividend account, but all you will have to do is it says select an account at the bottom. It say add account. What we're gonna do is click add account. Now, once you do that, it allows you to do retirement, join individual. We're going to do individual. Now, it says choose a management style for your, your individual account. Of course, you're only allowed to have one managed account. That's the one Robinhood managed for you. But it says you can open a total of 10 self-directed and one managed account. So we click self self-directed. Then I'm just going to say test account. See, you can change these names, by the way. Let's say test uh, two. It's just a dummy name. We go ahead and continue. Now, once it says open the account, you know, scroll down, scroll down some more, scroll all the way down, make sure you read that. Um, hit agree at the bottom, open in the account, boom. So there's two ways you can go here. You can go from continue or you can go not now. Either one works. If you hit not now, hit not now, and then it'll take you here. And then you can just, or if you wanted to transfer assets from a different Robinhood account, you would click that. Or if you just want to add money, we can hit add money. And by the way, I'll show you multiple ways in which you can transfer money um, or go about it. So to me, I think maybe the easiest one from your bank, but if you also want to transfer money from a different Robinhood account, you can do that as well, but do from the bank. So actually, let me go back, hit add money. And then after add money, I said from an external account, from an external account, your bank into the amount that you want to. Um, I'm just gonna see $10 transfer. Give it some time, continue. It's normally pretty instant, boom. Count is there. So, oops, okay, cool. And then we show up, $10, boom. So that's one particular way. Another way you can uh, do it is, let me just select a, a different you know, account. Another way, if you wanted to go about it, um, if you hit after, let's say you created the account, you can just hit uh, buying power and, you know, deposit the funds that way. Um, once again, I'll go over it again. Say if we'll go at the bottom, um, make sure you have it clicked on the like chart at the bottom to get to this page. You'll see um, a person, you know, look like a globe, like the crypto icon, and then you can hit that chart. So make sure at the bottom you hit the chart. Um, what we going to do, I'm going to show you another way. Go at the top. Um, you'll see the uh, down arrow. Click that down arrow. Now what we're going to do is add an account. Uh, this is another way to do it. Uh, individuals, joint retirement. We're going to hit um, individual. Self-directed. Uh, we're going to just name this uh, test three. Hit continue. 
uh, scroll all the way down, hit agree. Oops. Hit agree. Last time we hit not now, but this time we're actually going to hit continue. So when you hit continue, it says, how do you want to transfer your account? Now, if, for example, if you want to transfer assets like a different stock, ETF, crypto from one account to the other, then you would go for go to the top one. Now, if you just want to transfer money from um, a different account to the new account you're creating, it says from an external account, that's like your bank, and then from another Robinhood account. We can do it either way. So this time, I'm going to show how you transfer from another Robinhood money from another Robinhood account. So keep in mind at the top, if you're trying to transfer like a stock, a crypto or something like that, then you would go to pick the one assets at the top. And if you want to do money, you would end up going to one at the bottom. So this time I'm going to go from another Robinhood account, the bottom one. So now you can end up choosing the account that you want to uh, transfer money from. Let's see, uh, we'll go with testing, the testing account. It's only $5 in here, so I don't see it's $5 of valuable fund. I'm just gonna transfer two to the test three, hit review, transfer. Done. Okay, so, and then when we go out, we should end up, should end up to see that extra two dollars yeah the two dollars okay and i'll you know go through it another way again so you guys can see um multi like i said multiple ways um same thing let's go you know close um the test we got the arrow button make sure you click that you know add account uh give me one second you can pick individual joint retirement, we hit individual, um, self-directed, uh, let's say test four. Uh, scroll all the way down, hit agree. Uh, and then like I said, you can hit continue, not now. Before I hit not now, this time I hit continue. Okay, now if you wanted to transfer um, an asset, you know, click the one at the top. If you want to do like a bank, click the one at the bottom. So it says money from external account because you want the, the bank. Click that, you know, transfer your money. I say $15 per se. Let's just say that. Oops, let's go back a little bit. Type in the amount 15, hit review transfer oops it says you reached your um you reached your limit you can only make five standard bank deposits per business day well <laughs> i did this on several times but i you just would hit transfer and then submit and it would you know take it to you but because i did it five different uh transfer it looks like there's a limit but that's um basically um of course if you want oops if you want to let me go back and if you want to you know just buy something under a different account easily you do it the same way you just end up uh buying it let's say nike something like that you know easy the same way buy you can do dollar shares i don't do dollar amount because i don't have that much in it review swipe up done and as you can see you can and this is really oops this is uh really useful um go back button back button so as you can see i have one two three four five six seven eight nine so i just created nine accounts total and the thing about it is the fact that you can easily transfer assets over as well i could probably do assets um in a separate video but yeah, guys, this is kind of golden. I'm really excited that Robinhood offered this feature. Normally before, you would have to probably have a whole nother email and phone number. But 
the fact that you can just easily create multiple investing accounts um, all under one sign in. I think this is amazing. Robinhood, hey, this is great. This is for me, it will be really helpful because I end up want to have in a trading account, an investing account, and I didn't want to mix the two up. So I just wanted to have a trading account, investing account, and I both wanted it under Robinhood since I use that. I also, it also gives me the ability to do a lot of different experiment strategies. Um, say I wanted to, you know, just look at if I put $5 or $10 a, in a certain type of investment or I wanted to start off with a smaller account, it gives me the ability to, to do that. Um, but guys, that's it. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this? Is this helpful to you? If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um,